Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how I created a vintage pendant using polymer clay. Firstly, take a black colored polymer clay sheet for the base. Clay should be properly conditioned. The sheet should be somewhat thick. Use any clay cutters which you have in two sizes. Then cut a larger piece from the sheet. Use any needle to texture the clay surface. I am slightly texturing the bottom portion by applying gentle pressure and dragging the clay outwards. Place your clay on a movable working surface so that you can easily do this kind of task. Now cut the smaller size pieces from the clay sheet. Place the smaller piece over the larger piece. You can use a clay glue in between if you want. Then texture the smaller piece the same way as before. Next, take turquoise color clay and any texture sheet you prefer. I sprayed some water on the clay before placing the texture sheet. Press the sheet to imprint the details onto the clay. Do this carefully when using water. Sometimes the texture sheet gets displaced, then the pattern will not be proper. Cut smaller and larger rounds from the sheet. Remove the excess water. Make sure the edges are clean and smooth. Place the rounds on the clay base. There is some empty area left. Texture it. I'm using an antique copper pigment powder. Take a very tiny amount of pigment with your finger then apply it on the round portion.
place a thin black rope of clay around the round shape forming a nice border. Some more space left, so I have added a second rope of clay to complete the design. We can add more details like flowers, leaves or any structural element to make the design more complex and detailed. I chose to add leaf details. Adding the pigment to the texture makes the design pop nicely. Place the smaller round near the tip. Apply the pigment. To give it some finish, I added a thin black rope of clay around it. I twisted the extra ropes together like a wire wrap. Bake the finished pieces according to Claybrand's instructions. These were baked. I coated this piece with gloss varnish. This is without sealing. The gloss one was too shiny. I prefer the one without gloss for the metallic look. But I have to protect the surface. I guess using a satin or semi-gloss kind of varnish would be nice. But I don't have those sealants. Let me know what you think of these in the comments.